Right now, I'm talking to Peter Patakos. He's an attorney here in Cleveland, and he is part of the Coalition Against the Syntax, which voters will be voting on that question coming up on Election Day. Uh, Peter Patakos, thank you for being with us. What are your thoughts about issue number seven? Well, thank you for having me, Leon. Um, first of all, as the chair of the Coalition Against the Syntax, I am, of course, against the syntax. And we are a group of volunteer citizens that have come together because we believe that there is a much better way to proceed than what the syntax proponents have put forward. Um, we, first of all, I should say that we love the sports teams here in Cleveland. We believe they should be here. We believe they are good for the city. But we believe that issue seven and the syntax represents a wrong way to do business. It represents an old way of doing business that was done 30 years ago back when Art Modell was in town and we are sure that there is a better way. Mm -hmm. um, and we have identified a couple of alternative proposals. Um, now is n absolutely not the time for Cleveland to be handing over hundreds of millions of dollars to the owners of these teams without understanding more about exactly why they need this taxpayer money and why they would need it on terms that were established again back in the 90s some 30 years ago in a much much different times things have changed and we think that we need a new way of doing business what do you think that way is well a couple of things now the folks who are putting forward the syntax are mostly the the team owners themselves who of course want this money and they want it as easily as they can get it they tell us a lot about the taxpayers obligations to maintain these facilities for them. But there are two problems we see with that. One is we don't quite understand, no one has ever let the taxpayers understand exactly what those obligations are. And if those obligations are fair and if they make sense in today's economic climate. Now, the owners tell us that we own the facilities, which is true in a technical sense, but this is from deals that were signed 30 years ago that everybody recognizes are bad deals for the public now. So the first thing is, why can't the owners come back to the negotiating table with the public? They take hundreds of millions of dollars of profit out of these facilities, including the naming rights to Brown Stadium. Why can't we have a better understanding of whether the public is bearing a fair share of the costs? So. If the owners will not come back to the negotiating table, there are better ways for the public to make sure that we are getting a better deal. And that probably gets more specifically to your question. And what we have proposed is a facility fee that would be a surcharge of about $3 per ticket that would be added to the price, to the cost of every ticket sold at each one of these facilities that would raise the same amount of money as the syntax. So even though the, 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 the city owns these, these three stadiums, baseball, basketball, and, and football, and, 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 and it is the, the city's responsibility, the public's responsibility, you find another way of, of financing the needs to, to repair the stadiums. Yes, mm -hmm. we think there, there, are, uh, there are better ways out there. You don't think this is a fair way of doing it the way that the other side wants to do this, issues, uh, issue number seven. You don't think that's a fair way to do that? At the very least, we, there is no way that we could know that it's a fair way. We have, those questions have not been answered yet. We're just being asked to do the same thing that we did 30 years ago when Art Modell had us over his knee and you know he ended up leaving anyway. We think that there are more questions that need to be answered to make sure that the public is bearing a fair share of the costs with the owners deriving, again, hundreds of millions of dollars of profit. Mm -hmm. um, out of this. We think the public needs to understand better about why they need this taxpayer money when there are so many bigger problems in Cleveland right now. I've got about 35 seconds remaining. What it, what's your bottom line that you're telling the people uh, why you want them to vote against this issue? The bottom line is we can do better than this. Um, issue 7 represents an old way of doing business. The syntax does not expire until next June. Let's say no to issue 7 and ask our politicians and leaders and the team owners to come up with a better way. And let's continue the conversation, ask for some transparency and fairness. Voting no on issue seven is the first step to that. We will see how it goes on election day.
We've been talking to Peter Patakos. He's an attorney with Cohen, Rosenthal, and Kramer here in Cleveland, and he is part of the Coalition Against the Sin Tax. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you very much for having me. My pleasure.